The new science building, Science Hall West, is so connected to the student center that most of us pass it by every day. If you are lucky enough to have a class in the new building, you know its labs and classrooms are state of the art. Officially opening on March 1st is the newly renovated Science Hall East, which most of us remember as the original science building. Here today to tell us all about the new science complex is Sandra DeYoung, Dean of College of Science and Health. Welcome, Dean DeYoung. Thank you. Glad to be here. I know that you and your faculty are happy to move out of the temporary offices. Tell us about the recent renovations. What's new and different about Science Hall East? I think the first thing, Kelly, that you notice when you come into Science East is the aesthetics. It's very bright, it's cheery, the colors are bright. Uh, we have all new furniture and it's, it's just like a nice um, atmosphere. But more important is the facilities that we have. And although the basic structure is the same, we have enlarged the laboratories. They are now handicap accessible. We've uh, enlarged some of the classrooms. We've moved the computer science department from the coach house to the fifth floor of Science Hall. And so they're now um, taking up a good part of the fifth floor. And it's um, just a more comfortable place, uh, partly because of all the new furniture that we have as well, and new equipment. So tell us about the opening ceremony. What's on the agenda? On March 1st, uh, in the morning, uh, we'll begin, well, late morning, we'll begin a career uh, focus and the Career Development Center staff will be in the lobby between Science East and Science West and will be there to give career advice to alumni or to students. Mm -hmm. At 1230 we'll have a lecture by Dr. John DeLuca who is the one of our alums actually and is the Vice President for Research at Kessler Rehabilitation. He's going to speak on brain imaging and I think it's going to be a very interesting lecture for students of all majors. So we invite everyone to come. It will be in the, one of the two lecture halls on the lower level. Uh, it's actually the second floor, 2064. And that will be a half hour lecture. Following that will be the actual grand opening ceremony. I think they're going to have a ribbon cutting. Uh, President Waldron will be speaking and some, some dignitaries will be speaking. There will be some light refreshments. And following that will be tours of the building. It certainly does sound very interesting. Mm -hmm. Now, I understand that the Science Enrichment Center is much larger than before. How do these additions enhance student learning? The Science Enrichment Center before was a little tiny area and students had to move all over the building to find room for their study groups. Now it's a very large facility adjacent uh, to the lobby by the Dean's office. And it's large enough to accommodate most of the study groups. The equipment uh, that is uh, that they need for study is there, the models, the computers, the books are all there, and they can do online tutoring from there. It's, it's just a very nice facility and will certainly help students with the tutoring and the support they need to do well in their courses. And finally, can you just tell us a little bit about the new environmental sustainability degree program? Sure, that's an exciting program I think many students will like. Right now we have a degree in environmental science and we have a degree in earth science. But the sustainability program focuses more on maintaining the environment in the light of economic development. So uh, the people that graduate from this degree may become what's called environmental or sustainability managers, coordinators, analysts. They will be able to advise government. Uh, organizations, non-governmental organizations, businesses on how to protect the environment while growth is going on. And we will have four tracks. We're beginning with the track on water sustainability and we'll then um, over a couple of years open one on energy, one on ecosystems, and finally one on minerals. So I think it'll be very interesting. Well, the ceremony for the official opening of Science Complex is slated for March 1st at 1 p.m. in the lobby of Science Hall West. The event is open to all. For more information about the grand opening ceremony or the new degree in environmental sustainability, please check out the College of Science and Health's website at wpunj.edu backslash COSH.